Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about Adobe Experience Manager Persistence Mechanism. As we know, there are multiple deployment options available for Persistence Manager. One is TarMK and another one is MongoMK. And in TarMK, we have single TarMK instance, TarMK call standby, TarMK farm. In MongoMK, we have MongoMK in a single data center, MongoMK in a multiple data center. In this video, I'll be talking more about the MongoMK instance with AEM. So we have MongoMK in a single data center and MongoMK in a multiple data center. or cluster with MongoMK failover in a single data center. So as we see in this picture, we have multiple AEM server instance running on a data center, and there is a MongoDB primary, and all the read and write happens directly to the primary MongoDB instance. And we have a second layer of uh, MongoDB instance, and all the replication from primary happens to the MongoDB secondary instance. The advantages are ability to scale AEM instances, high availability, redundancy, and automated failover of data layer. The disadvantages are performance is not as good with the tar MK. Let us see the second option. or cluster with MongoMK failover across multiple data centers. So we have a data center one with multiple AEM servers and a MongoDB primary. All the read and write happens here. We have a single MongoDB secondary instance and replication happens from MongoDB primary to the secondary and a data center two with similar setup and the Right happens from primary to the secondary. This all the data center one and data center two are in sync. There is a data center three which has the MongoDB arbiter. This is used to balance various MongoDB instances. The advantages are ability to scale AEM instances high availability, redundancy, and automated failover of data layer. Thanks for watching this video.